Hey gang, Tony here with another Crypto Curium Parcel of Terror unboxing. I already cut the tape. And now it's open. And there's a flying jack-o'-lantern. I love the flying jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> Alright. Uh, black tissue paper this uh, this week? Month? This month. Month? Month. Got some black tissue paper in there. I like the, uh, the thought that Jason puts into these. We have our letter Ooh, with a business card and I believe last month I missed something so I'm actually gonna read the introduction to the letter and then I'll go through each of the other entries as I take stuff out. So thanks again for your membership in the Crypto Cure and Parcel of Terror. Take a look at the jack-o'-lantern stamp on the inside lid of this box. If, is it black or red? If it's red, you've found one of the five Bloody Jack stamps and have won a special prize. Post a photo of yourself with the Bloody Jack to the Cryptocurium face, face, Facebook page to claim your prize. This, this month's Parcel of Terror includes... So now we'll get into the goodies. Um, I don't know if I actually said this in my last video, but I did win the Bloody Jack uh, prize last, last month. So that was awesome. I didn't read the intro last time though so I wasn't I wasn't aware of that <laughs> I kind of kind of knew but kind of didn't all right here's our first item it's the slasher magnet and um, reading from the the list here Robbie the rabbit magnet the sixth in our series of the exclusive slasher magnets depicts the disturbing mascot of Lakeside Amusement Park available only through parcel of terror all right so this is a goodie I love the look of this the <laughs> And it actually, um, wow, yeah, that's cool. And it actually surprisingly goes well with another magnet that I have from uh, your geeky neighbor, Joe. He sent me, I don't know if you guys could see it over here, so I'm just going to remove it for a second. But Joe, a while back, sent me this. It was, uh, I guess, a, a magnet or something that he already had. And then he and his children actually painted it to make it look um, kind of all bloody and stuff. So that's kind of cool. I have a couple of crazy a couple of crazy looking rabbits which um, I'm running out of room on my magnet board. Look at this. I'm running out of room. I'll put I don't know if you guys can see that far over but I'm putting them over there right underneath Chucky. Yeah, I'm running out of room. I should have got a bigger board I guess. Next up Shasawa. Ooh, I believe that's Pyramid Head. 120 out of 180 on the back, signed and numbered. And uh, the print there, Pyramid Head, I believe. Let's take a look. Uh, Misty Day Remains of the Judgment print. A recreation of the mac uh, macabre painting... Encountered in Silent Hill 2 by James Sunderland. It depicts Pyramid Head holding a spear surrounded by hanging cage victims printed on high quality blood red cardstock, individually numbered and signed. That's really cool. I love these little prints. Right on. Next up, we have a sticker. I'm not, uh, I should, I should mention that I'm. I actually haven't played Silent Hill, which might surprise you, seeing as how I am kind of like into video games, but I took a break, like I was not a gamer between, after the Genesis, that was the last console I owned as a kid, after the Genesis, I didn't own another console until the PS3, Xbox 360 era. So there was that whole middle ground, PS1, PS2, GameCube, Nintendo 64, uh, so on and so forth, like the original Xbox, that I, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, all those, I didn't have any of that stuff. Uh, so when Silent Hill came out, I believe it was PS1, I think. I wasn't playing video games at the time, so I kind of missed out. Uh, Bubblehead Nurse Sticker, high quality pearl finish. You guys know the deal with that. Love these stickers. Have a ton of them. Got to do something with it. Next is a pen, it looks like. Get it out of the bag to show you guys. Open Sesame. Let 
All right. Pretty cool. Take a look at that. So that's a pin. Just take a look. I'll show you that for a little longer. And this is a seal of Metatron pin, a powerful occult symbol used by uh, Lisa Gillespie to attempt and prevent the birth of Samuel, uh, Samael, Samael? Uh, uh, an apocalyptic de deity worshipped by the cult known as the Order in Silent Hill, cast in solid resin, so on and so forth. Pretty cool. I like that a lot. Next up is, let's do, wow, there's a lot of stuff in this box. There is quite a bit of goodies. It looks like another print, I believe. We'll see what it says about that. That's that's amazing. Um, all right, so this is the mystery item, apparently. I totally forgot there was a mystery item in this box. I did not remember that. Awesome. All right. So this is the mystery item. A I'm gonna butcher this name. I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, Valtiel print. Valtiel. Valtiel print. A limited edition signed print of Valtiel from Silent Hill 3 by Crypto Curium guest artist Brandon Zimmerman. Uh, very cool. So this is signed as well. Right on. That's a really nice print. Very cool art there. Okay, and next we have a map of Silent Hill, it looks like. Here we go, map of Silent Hill. A recreation of the in game maps of Silent Hill series and its surrounding areas. That's pretty sweet. I kind of want to play this game now. I, I feel like I sort of have to. And you guys could yell at me for having not played Silent Hill. I know. I'm a bad horror fan. Or gamer. Or both. I'm going to go to the shame corner now. And the last item, I was saving it for last because I do love the plaques. We have... All right, let me find the way to go here. Hold that up for a second. And at the Mountains of Madness wall plaque fragment two, the second fragment when combined with the first fragment included in the June edition of Parcel of Terror reveals a frightening scene of the Elder Thing battling a horrific Shagoth, uh, Shagoth? As depicted, depicting in Lovecraft's novella at the Mountains of Madness. This is one of a two-part interlocking artifact that could be hung separately or together. So I am going to get the other piece here and drop my Freddy signature as I do so. And oh. bask in its glory. Pretty cool. I have to look at it too, you know. Let me look. Uh, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> that's awesome. So this is a two-parter. I will hang those together if I could get them. It might be kind of difficult for me the way I hang stuff to get them right up against each other like that, but very cool. Love these wall plaques. All right, everybody. So we have, um, now I forget which one was which here, but I think it was, I forget which one just came in the box. Oh man, good job Tony, good job. Pretty sure it was this one. So we got our, the second half of our wall plaque, we got a, a map of Silent Hill, we got a print with the guest, from the guest artist, we got another print from Jason, signed and numbered on the back, we got a Sticker, sorry, I don't mean to be. <laughs> Looks like I'm just throwing stuff. I'm not. Uh, and we have our pin. And we have, well, I already put it up here, but we have our magnet. That is a jam packed box, if I do say so myself. Jam packed. All right, everybody. One of my favorite, if not my favorite boxes ever. 
the parcel of terror, you have to subscribe to this. You are missing out on amazing things when you do not subscribe. And it's affordable. And it's all handmade. And it's amazing. I mean, what more do you want? Alright everybody, I'm going to go work on my own sculptures. I should do that. People are waiting for stuff, so I'm going to do that. Alright, uh, breathe deep in the night. I will talk to you guys later.